Hello again. This video is not a tutorial this time. Uh, this one's more of a, a, a video review. Um, as I said on the Astronomy Shed forums earlier today, uh, the pizza box came this morning. And this is the pizza box. Uh, inside the pizza box is this, which is a Batinov mask. Now, this particular one's made by a company called Morris Engraving, and it's called a Starsharp mask. Um, straight out of the box, overall feeling is that of quality. Um, it's it's good and solid. It's nice and rigid. Uh, it's made out of a sort of an acrylic type material in in a matte black finish, and the slots are all laser cut. And as I said, it just it just oozes quality. Um, you know, it just feels like a really substantial piece of kit. Now, also in the box, you get a couple of nylon bolts, and these push through two holes in the mask like so and what they allow you to do is to just hang the mask then on the edge of your scope or on the end of your dew shield um, now there's a couple of design features in this particular mask the first one being a lot of the masks that you'll see around and this one isn't it's got square off corners on it and the reason for that is that once you've finished your focus you're not using your mask you've got a tendency then to sort of lean it up against the wall or against your tripod or something like that and there's every chance then that it'll roll and it'll fall on the floor somewhere you don't know it's there, you step back, crunch, you've broken it and then you go home, you kick your dog, you give your wife an hard time so really the purpose of these is to stop domestic violence and animal cruelty which is can't be a bad thing really can it? Um, the other design feature is this corner that is left on it and it's got a reflective surface on there that's a lot like the what you get on the emergency services jackets and such like um, and it serves a dual purpose that the first one is that with the whole thing being matte black you've got a tendency obviously to put it down you come to pack up at the end of the night it's dark and you forget it uh, that's one thing but the other one is because it stands out like a flag when it's hooked up onto your scope it's a reminder that um, that it's it's you know it's still hooked up on there, and you know not to leave it on. And you'll read it in the forums all over the place on on the internet about people that are using batting of masks, and they've they've done the focusing up, everything's perfect. They switch the cameras on, something's wrong, and the twiddling wires and the flicking switches and the rebooting laptops, and then it sort of it occurs to them that they forgot to take the mask off. So just that flag there sticking up, it's just a bit of an aid really to, to remind you that it's there. Uh, as I said, out of the box, overall quality and opinion is that it's very, very good. Um, we will do a part two to this video where I'm going to use it and, and focus up with it and take a bit of live footage with it and see how it performs. And we're going to do that when the cloud finally goes in the UK, which is due to in about well, another three months or so. Um, also in the box you get a little compliment slip which is just a nice touch I like it I think it, it just you know it looks more professional and you also get a information sheet like this one uh, it just shows you some images of how it should look and you know what what the images mean when you see them through your mask and a little bit of an explanation and everything um, so overall I'm very very pleased with it and the costing uh, depends on size. Now that particular one is for a Skywatcher 200P, which is an 8-inch Newtonian. Um, and they cost £13, uh, which I don't think is that bad if you consider that your other option is to get a scalpel or a craft knife and then you're cutting cornflakes boxes up and you're laminating or you're getting folders from test rolls and printing templates out and sticking them on and cutting them out and cutting your fingers and everything. For the sake of £13, I think it's, it's really good value. And as I said, I think it's a really quality piece of kit. And that's it for the minute. And we'll come back in part two when, like I said, when the cloud finally clears. And once again, thanks for watching.